Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play A Connection Error Has Occurred, otherwise known as Neo 2 on the Series JG. And, uh, okay, so, here's the deal. Oh, I can remodel the HUD some more. I guess I got, uh, oh yeah, we got a uh, new uh, spirit animal can show up. Uh, is uh, Kappa, Kappa? There's no red Kappa, it's just Kappa, so we can't. You know he will he will sit there hoarding treasure. He will not sit there ready at any time to rip our uh, our dick off. Um, Saoirse's in this game for some reason, isn't she? I thought maybe she was. In honor of because uh, I'm not going to have our final uh, video or two us cosplaying as William. So <laughs> instead we'll completely dishonor William by implying that Saoirse's cheating on him. <laughs> With another protagonist. Oh, we got Tantinus at the shrine, too. Oh, because we can level up. Oh, alright. Well, um... Well... Two twelve is likely to be the level at which we end the Let's Play. Um... It's not a certainty, but it's, it's likely. So here's the thing. I read up on these last couple of missions. So I was having my recording session earlier today. I broke for dinner, got some laundry going, got in a couple more steps for the day. And I looked up, because the wiki doesn't mention it, the Alluring Ancient. So we need to get um, three grilled tang sweets from the various missions. and. The wiki does mention it, it just isn't listed on the page that lists the missions. If you look for this mission by name, I found it. And it does describe where these three grilled tang sweets are, but they're they're in other missions, including ones I've already won. So like, for example, I don't know, a distant dream, the final main the final main mission of the entire game, including all the DLCs, this has one. Did I find a uh a sweet in that mission? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I'm not sure. I kind of wish I could play it though, because what it turns out is it is a unique boss fight with a character. Because uh, I saw the description, and it's like, oh, you're fighting uh, the Neo Tengu. And I thought, oh, it might be like a unique version of that giant tree monster. That doesn't sound fun. And then I was like, oh, wait, no, Tengu, those are the big bird guys, right? And then I actually looked it up, and I was like, oh, yeah, Nyo Tengu. I, I had forgotten. Nyo Tengu is a character from the Dead or Alive franchise, because this Team Ninja makes the Ninja Gaiden games. Not that they've done one recently. They are... Um, characters from their games have shown up in Dynasty Warriors-type games before. Um, and they make Neo, and they make Dead or Alive. And Nyo Tengu you've never seen her featured on my channel even though I played some Dead or Alive for a Christmas special because she isn't a character who was involved in the story from Dead or Alive 5. She is one of various characters that I guess you can... I can't remember if she costs money as DLC or if she's free DLC, but she's not connected to the story. She's a woman with big black wings but she basically she dresses in like traditional Japanese style robes and she acts really like... Um, She's a dead or alive character, so she'll just be sexy, but she acts like kind of haughty. She's not like giggly and bubbly style as some of the dead or alive characters are. She's like demure. Like I don't want to get into a ton of waste a ton of time describing Neo Tango because you can look her up if you want to. But um, I thought I was like, oh, that would be fun to have one like because it's a character from outside. Well, I mean, it's Neo, so. You never really get a real good sense of what anyone looks like because there's like constant motion and craziness going on and the screen full of numbers that are showing damage that has been built. So like if you wanted like, oh, Neo Tango, that sounds sexy. Like, well, you're going to want to go see footage of her from Dead or Alive, not from Neo, um, if that's your thing. <laughs> um, so it would have been fun to fight her, but I'm like, I am not like, even with the items that would allow me to... Like, if I followed a fact and found exactly where the grilled tang sweets were, and, like, went back and watched my own videos to see which ones I have missed and which ones I got, and then used that item to get out of the level without finishing it after I'd collected the items, like, no, I'm not going through all that. Um, 
Jeez, earlier in the LP I might have done, honestly, but I am in a mood where I'm, I'm ready to be done. So instead, we're never going to get that one unless by some weird chance, and this is, this is possible, I suppose, if, uh, let's see, against all comers, no, rivals return, no, if a spirit's return features, uh, a grilled tang sweet and it is the one we are missing and this mission therefore unlocks i guess i'll try it uh and she seemed like i i didn't watch the whole thing i watched a video just to see what what she actually looks like if someone fighting her yeah she appears to be she's uh she's a normal like one of these when this game has a humanoid boss as opposed to a giant monster She's going to be a humanoid boss, which means she's, she, it looked like she'd be very tough, but it's going to be an all or nothing. Like, you can't get anywhere, you can't get anywhere, you can't get anywhere, and suddenly you get on something where you got her trapped and constantly key depleted and just crush her. Like, that first fight we had against the monk in the end of the last video, I got crushed, and then the second fight, it's like, okay, well, I beat him. I beat him. I, I just had to get to a point where, like, I constantly was keeping him cornered and crushed to fad. So, a spirit's return. Again, there's a small chance we'll unlock that that tang, Neo Tengu mission, but I don't think so. This is probably going to be it. So, it is a. It looks like it's going to be a mission with a kind of its own little self contained plot uh, where we actually get to go around uh, and explore a map, even if it's one we've already seen. My favorite type of side mission. And uh, I, I am optimistic that it's going to be a fun way to end the series. I simply cannot comprehend it. Otakamaru has been vanquished, yet countless Nigitama are still at large, and Onigia... I don't know how to speak these Japanese words. <laughs> I'm not from Japan. I'm obviously from somewhere in the American Southwest. I live at the Valley Lugi. <laughs> Is it possible they are being held captive by a yokai? We felt the defeat. We must investigate. And we'll get a ninja lock out of this, which is great, because that way I can end the game with two ninja skill points unspent instead of one. In an age when much of Japan was still unexplored, many believed that the yokai who lived in isolation, far from human settlements, were bringers of misfortune, and so they became a target of man's hatred. With both sides unwilling to build bridges, the cycle of conflict between man and yokai continued without cease, evidenced by countless folk tales. Oniga Castle has stood since ancient times as a place no man would dare enter. A dark, foreboding energy roils up from deep within. So I saw a clip of... I checked this out on YouTube and I thought we were going to have help in this mission. And maybe we will eventually. Otherwise, I guess we're fighting through this level. Seeing if maybe somehow we come across a uh, Neo Tengu candy or whatever. A grilled Tang sweet. Yeah. So I don't know how bad this level's going to be. But I figured. I figured it made more sense to attempt this mission than any of the other ones that were still open to us. And it kind of felt like it might be fun to, um, to end on a win instead of a defeat. Nice to finish this guy off here so I could concentrate in a one on one fight with this other guy. Is 
Okay, the camera's not my friend here. Oh, I was in the wrong stance. I was really confused by how some of uh, that fight was going. I got, in the, I got in this stance that I never use, so I, I only use it for specifically if I'm fighting groups of enemies and I'm not going to be able to isolate and get rid of one. Hey, I'm going for my super on that guy. You're not supposed to be allowed to interrupt that. Okay. So if this is a, um... Maybe I'm misunderstanding which mission is which and got confused by the names, but, um... If this is a mission where it's just, uh... It's just a series, like, a survive a million fights. I need to quit out, because that's not the one I intended. I'm thinking it's just it starts like that. Being in the correct stance is helping here. To finish him off with one of us can show up to be threat. Though I did manage to take a free hit from this guy. You know what, buddy? I was trying to get out of your way. Not that that's what you would have wanted. Oh, two of these guys, eh? That's not good, really. I was a... Yeah, I sort of evade rolled into him and then tried to quickly evade roll again and there wasn't time, but... Hanging out now. I guess that's when I should be dodging that way more often, because that actually worked fairly well. Oh, I picked a really good time to stun him, because he was about to hit me with a undodgeable. Whew. Weird shadows make it difficult to tell when. Oh crap! I don't. Okay, this guy. He's almost dead, but I do not feel like it's a waste to slow this guy down at all. Oh, it's not fair. I want to see those stuck up those the shreds. Okay. I got a sincere Buddhist Quaros out of that. And it does seem like that cleared this zone as opposed to now there's a new enemy here uh, trying to murder me. Let's assume that represents progress in this mission and hit the shrine. 
Also, let's see how long I have to go in this video because I completely failed to regard, uh, note what time it was when I started. Okay, 15 minutes. Thus, these missions are serving as a way to fight some of these enemies that, oh, you can beat them several times and get a bonus um, without having to replay the entire full-length mission, which I, I guess is nice. Oh, hey, it's, uh... Alright, Mujina has joined Team Package here. Team Package being my organization. Wow, he just decided to go for the Poison Runner right out of the gate. I kind of thought I might get some opportunity to, uh... Well, he just instantly killed the Mujina, too. Oh, never mind, there he is. He's still... I thought he was dead. Thought he'd gotten killed and all that. Good job, Gina. Samurai Noble Gauntlets. Those uh, shadows overhead are disorienting because they keep making me think that there's like an enemy that's about to attack me that I hadn't noticed before. Yep. So I got rid of enemy sensor and Maybe I shouldn't have. This looks like another we will be stuck in here for a while type zones. to evade yep. roll and I attacked not blaming the game that was me screwing up but did it again it's like once he's got his soft underside exposed I just feel the need to attack mujina has got some survivability here which is nice that guy is like a sort of mid-boss in stage two. I do. Good job, Eugene. All right, it's kinky. go down a lot easier when we've got some aid. Destroy all my master's pass. I'll destroy everything. Kick your ass, bitch. He's happy to fight anyone anytime. Mujina, I'd like to uh, heal you up. Um, but as said, we'll get a cat friend. Let me... Uh, that will heal him up, won't it? If that does what I think it does, and maybe it doesn't.
Who are you? Are you a friend? I mean, it depends. Are you a member of, like, the demon army of murdering humans? Because if so, I've got some not on your side. Okay, so far none of these things are, uh, grilled sweets. I, at this point, I'm not even sure I want to find one. Something or other cutter. Oh. Okay, there's this lady. She seems like good to kill Magina if I'm not careful, and probably even if I am. Yeah, that's it for me. Gave it the old college try. Jeez, there's still enemies spawning here. <sighs> okay, this is annoying me now. I would kind of assume that... I got some kind of... Oh no, we gotta fight this guy with, with the clones and shit? I would have thought there'd be a little break. Crab enemy is still here, and the revenant. Well, this is the most valuable little cat friend ever. It's uh, still going here, still fighting for team package, which I decided to declare it is what our team is now called. Yeah, I figured. That jerk was going to do that again, but I needed a second to um, reset everything else. I don't know how much the cat might be helping me actually with uh, just distracting him and keeping him from replenishing the key. I think that's how I got him last time too, the uh... Completely oblivious. Whoa. This is the end of this mission. This is the last guy.
So this is the actual last guy in the mission. I'm gonna get out of jail free stuff, aren't I? That more elixirs over here. Ah, oh, crap! He's summoning dudes. That oh, was another elixir. Here. I don't want to fail because of this other guy, but that's pretty likely to happen here. This uh, animal spirit must be working by some kind of special rules. Because it has lasted way longer than they normally do. Fuck. Ah, ho, ho. I thought I was going to win that thing all in one pass. The Mugino was kind of helpful, and we won't have him again. The real question now is going to be what shows up again. Because I fought the last two of the special sub boss enemies. See, I thought this would be more of a real normal wander around and explore the map mission than it was. This cat would appear to be special. He's like some kind of infinite cat spirit, and I'm cool with that. Red spider lily, okay. I would guess we don't have to redo that. So if we don't have to fight the uh, fancy uh, Yasha spirit and the fancy ghost who clones himself spirit again, uh, this should be very easy. If we do, it'll be a little harder. Well, actually, it be a lot harder, but it should be doable. But this does seem like a new area, so maybe there's more to explore. But that was like the end of the level, so maybe we didn't want to go there yet, because... there's more stuff to find we're not finding it going over that way
I like the uh, infinite cats. <laughs> this may be a grilled whatever sweet. Nope. I, I, I can't even decide if I want to find it or not. I just know there is a chance that one of the ones that to be found is in this level, which is why we hadn't already found it. That door must be open from the other side. Because that it, that thing we'd found, I believe, is the end of the level, that, that fight. Which would suggest that there's a lot of side content to explore, maybe. Now, there is an item which I've kind of forgot existed that allows you to summon uh, those cats. I'm thinking for our farewell boss fight, maybe I uh, summon a few right before I go into the fight, so we got like several of them. You're really supposed to wait for them to charge and then counter them, but I rarely seem to have the patience. So there's a little house there. I guess I didn't go this way. I... Now I feel like I want to make sure I explore all the nooks and crannies. Because it does seem like I was able to charge right ahead into a uh, area that I thought was supposed to be the end of the level. Maybe I'm misunderstanding, and that's not the end of the level at all. Okay, that was bad. How much time is left in this one? I kind of lost track here. Again. Oh yeah, we're over. Alright, when we come back next time, we're going to continue. I, I, I look for a minute like this would be the last video of the series, but we will continue on with, unless we find some kind of grilled suite which unlocks this secret additional boss fight, this, this will be the last mission, and uh, we probably don't have that much left. See you next time.